is the Tad Show. Cedric Alexander wins the match, and this is an NXT, his NXT debut. I thought the announcers did a very good job explaining that this was his debut. You know, and I, I'll tell you what, if I'm Cedric Alexander, as long as the money's the same, I'd rather be on NXT than Raw. I'm just saying. You know, I do obviously think that he could be a big-time player in that cruiserweight division on Raw, Cedric Alexander, if they allow him to be. And if they give the cruiserweights the right love and not sell them like, the fight and the dog, they're undersized, they're little, but oh, by golly, they're great. Stop the crap. Stop it. Stop. You didn't do that with the CWC. All the success of the CWC, you didn't do that. You didn't go into that whole thing, and I talked about this the other day, of it's not the size of the fight and the dog, it's the size of the dog and the fight, and I'm not blaming Mick Foley. This is not a shot at Mick. Okay, this is just you know a deal where it's typical when Vince McMahon and Kevin and these guys and some of the writers, you know, where it's like, let's go the route of they're not tall, Let's call them little and undersized. But by golly, they're overachievers. And by golly, they're fighting from underneath. Stop the shit. It's just passive, aggressive, sarcasm crap. Stop. Stop. Sucks. Like Mike Holland back on a Facebook Live. Stop. 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 He just said that. Stop. Handle it the right way. There are athletes, I really felt in TNA, that you know the company did, and when I was there, and I'm sure they're doing the same thing, X Division was handled the right way. Athletes that take chances, high risk, was done the right way. Not this crap. These guys are little, but I'm telling you, they're going to entertain the crap out of you. Shut up! Don't undermine them and cut their ball sack off. Stop it.